It's me, Nim Sony. Welcome back to another VR video. Today we are back in the locomotion garden that I was showing you in the last video. Uh, this one has been updated. Actually, before I get everyone dizzy, let's switch this to third person and uh, have a look. Hello. So here we are back in the same place. Uh, there's a little bit of trouble with the third person camera for some reason. It does like to bounce a tiny bit. So I'm just going to keep moving slowly uh, so that it doesn't bounce too much. Uh, but uh, what we're doing here, this is the, the final version of it, and uh, this is going to be released in a demo today. Um, and I've added a lot of options to it. So let's switch over to this first person mode. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is this uh, the, the way that I've done the view camera. Uh, so the view camera button here allows you to switch between the different modes. And you can see there was an off version of it where it's kind of zoomed in. That's because it's not a separate camera. One of those uh, sort of typical issues with uh, with VR. Uh, so I gave you a first person mode and then you can click it again, you get a third person mode. But we're not going to use that for now. Let's just have a look at the options. Now there's Calibrate Center. You're going to need this button regardless of what you think you've uh, set up in your VR space. Uh, this is not, this is, there's a lot of experimental stuff going on here. Uh, so do use that button each time you switch locomotion mode, especially if you switch to seated. Uh, it doesn't really matter for the regular hybrid mode, which is uh, analog stick to move. And you can see here on the left hand side, it tells you how to do that stuff as well. So left stick movement, right stick turning, and then the menu button on your controller. Right now, I've just uh, released this only for Oculus. Um, and I'm working right now on, on upgrading the, the, the backend systems so that they work properly with OpenXR. And then that'll allow you to use it in SteamVR and all the other stuff as well. Anything that works with o OpenXR. Uh, now, let's have a look at the options then. So first we've got the locomotion mode, which is the three locomotion modes that I want to show you. Now the hybrid is the regular stuff, joystick based movement, and then you can actually control the speed of it. Here we've got exploration mode, which of course I've shown you in the previous videos. I walk around my play space and it uh, decides what direction and you can see the ring here, which determines when you're actually going to move. And then we've got accessibility mode. Now I'll show you that in a moment. Firstly, let's have a walk around and uh, have a look at the controls. So here we've got four different modes of controls. So we've got flip, click flip, singular, and regular. Right? Regular is the, the sort of default. Flip swaps these around. So now you can see left stick is for turn, right stick is for movement. There we go. And then we've got click flip. Now click flip is really clever. Because what I'm trying to do here is actually have the ability to allow for one hand players. This is this is very heavily uh, accessibility uh, testing today in this uh, in this demo. So let's just pop down here, have a nice little uh, drop down here onto this pathway here, and then don't worry, we'll uh, we'll go out of um, we'll go out of uh, out of the menu so we can see things in color, uh, but. Yeah, you can see here on the on the actual options, you can see that both sticks move, right? So this is the left hand stick. In fact, I'll show you with just the left hand. So I'm going to put my right hand down and you'll see it vanish as well. This is really important. There we go. It's vanished after five seconds. You can see it's actually here on my right hand side. It's now animated. So you can see it actually swings. If I go in third person, you can see I've actually got a right hand that moves kind of naturally. <laughs> there we go. So here we go, both sticks can move, but they can also turn. So if I click the, uh, the, uh, the, the joystick in, click, now I've got turning mode, right? So that's what click flip mode is. So here we go, we can just walk around and then turn and then walk around, right? Really, really easy. There we go, and then I can click to rotate and carry on walking. And of course, if you look at it in third person, you can see my other arm is actually moving kind of nice and easy. In fact, if I pick that controller up and drop this one down, you can see now that I can move with this one. It's directed with this one, right? And my left hand is now animated. So there you go. You can actually see it. You can see it animating here on my left hand side. Really, really brilliant. And that animation system is actually handling the audio a little bit as well. So if you can listen carefully, I'm gonna stay quiet for a moment.
there. You should be able to hear all of that movement. Right, let's pick up the other controller again. Pop this menu open. There you go, you should be able to see it. And we'll have a look at singular mode. Now singular mode is very similar to the last one, except instead of clicking the stick, you hold it. Which means at all times, the joystick is always for walking. So right now, it's always for movement. But while I hold the stick in, I can rotate. If I let go, it's back to movement again. And that means you can very quickly switch from, from uh, movement to turning, get a quick snap turn in, and then carry on movement. There you go. Nice and easy. And the, 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 the intent, intent here is to test things for people who might need a one-handed mode. And of course, in the end, when I've, uh, when I've built a, a Quest 2 version of this, or once I get myself a, another Leap Motion, we'll be able to use that and actually use some hand tracking coupled with all of this. So, let's switch over now the uh, the direction modes. Let's have a look. So, we've got the regular direction mode of head directed movement. Uh, we are in first person, right. Okay, so you should be able to see the controllers here. Um, I'm going to move with my left stick. So here we go. Right stick for rotation, left stick for movement. Left stick is now directed relative to my head. So I'm going to keep my, my joystick pushing forward the whole time, right? This is pu pushing my, my joystick forward, trying not to cover my sensor there, for tracking. And as you can see, when I swing my hand to the left or the to the right, I still move forward because it's head direct. Of course, if I keep my controller still and I move, you can see that I actually move in the direction that I look. Okay? Usual stuff. I switch it over to controller mode now. And now I can look around wherever I want. It doesn't make any difference. It's entirely controller direct. Right? But there's a problem. The problem with having controller, pure controller directed movement is that when you've got something like a sword and you swing it, and this is me pu pushing forward on my joystick, and you can see I end up moving in, in multiple directions, right? So that's the thing that I've been trying to solve. So now let's switch to hybrid mode. Hybrid mode takes head directed motion. So here we go. You can kind of get head directed motion but it also takes the controller so here if i turn the controller you can see i actually move in the direction of the controller allowing me to push forward look around and you can see i move straight forward however at the same time by blending between the different angles of the controllers i can do this and you can see now i'm always moving almost always forward when I'm swinging my controller around. But as long as I keep it sort of straight, I can control it entirely based on that. Which means that I can walk naturally now up here and I can look around a little bit without having to think about changing my joystick control. Right? I can look around while moving, but then I can still move in the direction of my head movement. Very, very useful. That's the intent with the hybrid system here. It's a, it's a blend between head direction, a hip direction, which I'm calculating based on the two controllers, and the, the active controller. So of course, this depends on which uh, which control mode you've got. So if, if you're using your right hand, it'll be based on the right hand. And of course, if you're using one of the other modes, it uses whatever's actively, actively movement, uh, moving your, your play. Let's have a look now at the different modes. So here we go, hybrid exploration, as I showed you before. And this time, with the controller sat down, you get animation mode. So now I can walk around and it actually animates me. There we go. You can see me and you can see that it actually animates me. So if I pick this left controller up and switch you to third person, hello. Now you can see, even with my controllers put down, you can actually see me walking and now you've got animation. Brilliant. There we go. Excellent. Completely animated hands. And that animation rig is controlling the uh, sound effects and other stepping systems as well. Brilliant. Let's grab this chair over here. Pick these controllers up and switch to accessibility mode. Now, in accessibility mode, I'm going to take a seat. I'll switch you back to first person because as you can see now I'm a little lower 
low down compared to the menu here. Uh, you should be able to see me in, uh, in view. Uh, so what I need to do then is click calibrate again. There we go. I need to fix that button before I release it. Uh, I'm using my my, joy, my uh, actual controller button to do the calibration and I haven't set up the menu button to do it correctly with that. But uh, as you can see now, so this is something I showed before and I even put a demo about it. Uh, but uh, now I've uh, upgraded it so that it works with all of my, my newer systems. As you can see, it's based on hand swinger. Now, I really don't like hand swinger. It's something that I've always hated because it usually ends up with people going to run. That is just ridiculous, right? And the same thing applies to my, my hybrid loco. Like uh, actual jogging in place, most people assume that you have to kick your feet. And kicking your feet ain't gonna get you anywhere because uh, we're not tracking your feet, right? So it's more about natural movement. And that's what I wanted to do with this. So here we go. My feet are not touching the ground now in reality. So I should be able to move even if I don't have much strength in my legs. This, this is the point. This is an accessibility system. So here we go. I'm pushing my joy joystick completely forward now. As you can see, I'm moving kind of slow. Uh, yeah, actually, we'll leave it in first person for now. Well, actually, you need to be able to see what I'm doing with these controllers. You can see it in the, in the camera as well, but uh, there we go. So here we go. I'm moving kind of slow, and then as I swing my controllers, you can see a little bit of a boost. But what I do is I actively move that based on what would naturally happen with your body. So if you swing your hand up like this, your body is going to lean a little bit to that side because you're, you're uh, tensing up this muscle. As a result, if you just allow yourself to loosely move with the controllers, you'll see that you can actually get a run speed now. There we go. And this is what I'm doing. I'm swinging while I also lean my body very slightly. Right, so there we go. Nice and easy. And it just works. And of course we can control the speed here. Slow down by not moving. And if we move our controllers like this, we don't really get that much speed. It's actually much easier, much more comfortable just to do this. Because I'm using mul multiple systems, I'm using both the hand swinger and the head sway movement. It means that you don't have to do all of that shaky, shaky movement. You don't have to put too much energy in, in moving your hands. And it feels kind of a lot more comfortable. Of course, this is a problem for one-handed use because how can you swing both hands? So let's have a look at what happens there. Where's the menu still up there? Uh, but there we go. Let's uh, let's switch to um, yeah, we'll switch to to singular mode. So there we go. I'm going to put one controller down. As you can see, I'm using only one controller. So here we go. When I move, you can see I, I'm still able to actually swing it enough to run. I'll use my other hand just so I don't look ridiculous in reality. But as you can see, I, I'm still able to kind of get that motion. And you should be able to see from this camera view that my right hand is swinging as soon as I start moving. That swing is actually being tracked by the hand swinger system. So the animation is helping you out. As a result, if you've got one hand, it doesn't matter which hand you're using, you can just get your arm swinger movement working exactly as it was before because your right hand is swinging anyway. Your left hand is doing the the activation of all of this and of course if I swap that over and you're only using your right hand you can still move you can still get all your your movement system your singular movement system and once that controller has realized that it's been put down you can see I get full movement and I can rotate and all of that really really easy my legs aren't touching the ground right now I'm acting as if I would have trouble standing up or if I get fatigued easily any players who have trouble with, with those kinds of systems, the aim with this demo is not all about gaming. Like I mentioned in the last video, this is, it's not about gaming. This is about allowing you to just experience a VR world. Uh, let's move back over to this area here. Let's just jog over here. And have a look at this Patreon board. Because uh, as per the same thing as I did with the last locomotion demo, I put me Patreon uh, supporters onto there. I know that um, I, I haven't put anything specific up on Patreon. And let's be honest, I do have a job. Uh, in terms of finances, I'm, I'm quite okay. 
So this is only an extra thing. This is entirely up to, to anybody that wants to support me a little bit additionally, because you know that I don't really want to be uh, entirely spending all of my time in a job forever. Uh, my aim is to be out of a job and completely focus on the, the VR stuff that I do and on my other IPs and, and game stuff as well that I do. I'm doing a lot more than just the software side though, so uh, stay tuned and see what happens there. But as you can see, here's the board. Um, have a read of the, of the names on there if you if you if you want to. If you don't, it doesn't matter. Uh, but this board is in this world here. Let's have a, a jog over to here. Oh, that's my uh, that's my phone going ding ding. And you can see up there in the background, I placed uh, Tubby's house because. Uh, I want to be able to show you in each of these demos what's actually what world you're in right because there are a number of worlds that i'm building as part of my my games and for, as part of the global sort of environment of my game so let's have a walk out here we'll switch back into exploration mode and uh run right into a tree i'm just going to move this chair out of the way here i'll uh, recenter myself around here and then place the controllers down and let's have a walk about so there we go you can see butterflies i added there we go they just float around a number of colored butterflies they're sort of everywhere as well let's just jog over to here and you can see very very nice little little demo area and it's it's just brilliant for you if you want to just take a jog somewhere in vr let's uh up down here there we go and uh, maybe I'll switch to third person view for you as well just give you a final look at this little world before we, we finish up close up shop so there we go a little bit of a jog and you can see me do a sudden turn there nice and easy nice and chill so that's that let me switch myself over here and speak to the camera so as you can see this is the the locomotion demo for hybrid locomotion systems and all of my accessibility tests as well uh, so have a look have a test of this demo when it's uh, when it's up uploaded which should be today and uh, yeah hopefully you can get some you can start to see some of the benefits of this system Ooh, i'm moving a little bit of course there um hopefully you can see some of the benefits of this system and uh that's that so thanks very much for watching i'm just going to pop back up to up to there and uh, that is pretty much the end of this video. Hope you liked the, the system and hope you liked the demo as well. And see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.